Hey there, welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name's Richard, and this is the beginning of cruise number two on the Scarlet Lady from Virgin Voyages, as you saw right down below when we started this video, Sail the Virgin Way. And what I'm gonna do right now is something that's never been documented online, is what's called the back-to-back -back process. Now we did get this letter, which I'll read to you in transit. It is now, uh, let me give you the exact time. On embarkation day, well, the day when people get on and off, debarkation and embarkation day, it is, uh, Whoop. 10.25 a.m. Eastern Time. The boat's supposed to be cleared by 10.45. We are not being rushed off. We're staying in the same cabin from one sailing to another sailing. The first sailing's great. You will see a review on that soon. But what I want to do is I want to show you the entire process. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk through a mostly empty uh, Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady cruise ship. And you can see they are loading their provisions right now. So you'll see if we go down... If you wonder where the beer comes from, the beer comes from the Magic Beer Forklift. So there's the Magic Beer Forklift Operators and the Magic Orange Forklift Operators. But what we're going to do is we are going to take a walk to the SIP Lounge on Deck 7, which is the Champagne Lounge, which unfortunately, as I learned last night, does not have craft beers. Well, as I learned a few nights ago, uh, the SIP Lounge, the Champagne Lounge, the other nice thing is I can just press a little button right here. And the curtains will close and the room will not to get too hot. Now, when we leave and we do go to immigration, we need our passport and our vaccination card. So I'm going to take a walk out. We are staying on deck 12, so we're going to ride it down from deck 12. I'm going to read you a bit of the letter. I'm sorry for the darkness, but here we go. So we did get this letter about two days before the end of the sailing. And it says a dose of deja vu. It'll be right up there in the corner. Ahoy, Richard. There's only one thing better than sailing on Scarlet Lady, and that's sailing her twice. We're excited to continue your voyage with us on this back-to-back -back holiday. On July 8th, 2022, we'll be resetting our systems for the next voyage. And they have to do what's called a zero-zero count, meaning that they have to get all the passengers off the boat, have customs say, hey, everyone's off the boat, and it's good to go. Now, we are also heading down for a COVID test. So I will put this whole letter, but they have to get everybody off the boat, hopefully for a very short period of time. And then we'll be able to get back on, go to our cabin, and personally take a nap, because 10.30 in the morning is a little bit too early for Mr. No pants. Now, a lot of the breakfast things were open this morning. A lot of the lunch things will be open when we get back on. And something I'm going to do is I want to show you a quick tour of the empty, hopefully, Scarlet Lady by the time we get back on. But we're on deck 12. We just got to midship. Flip it around. Side Z. And we're going to ride down from 12 down to 7 to the SIP lounge. Now, on our way to the SIP lounge, we're actually going to go through the main foyer where everybody should actually still be getting off. So we'll see if there's any stragglers. They did just make this announcement a few minutes ago saying, But it's time to go. We hope you had a great time with us and you spread the word to everybody about your epic time on board. We hate goodbye, so we hope to see you soon. Till then, take care. At this time, we are calling all sailors who are not staying with us for the next voyage to proceed to Deck 7 Midship Gangway for disembarkation. Thank you and safe travels. Well, we're done binging, but time to get off. But now it's time to get on. And you can even see, how do you know it's the last day? Well, because Richard is saying goodbye. Well, this, this, this Richard. Richard Branson is saying, we don't, while we don't like to say goodbye, it's time to say we'll see you again soon. Until then, we ask that you head to the roundabout on deck 7 mid to disembark. We are headed to... We'll see you. I get it. We'll see you. <laughs> so we're headed to the roundabout on deck 7 mid, which should just be a whole bunch of people getting off the boat, waiting for their parties to get together and everything like that. So we will continue right around and kind of see people still getting off sailor services they're ha handling the money she's handling the money that's what's happening right there but we are going to get in our back to back group right here oh. so they're checking us in right here for back to back you got yeah okay and this is where we're going to get our COVID test and everything like that. So 
when I do actually get something shoved up my nose, I may bring you along for the ride. I will give you an update as soon as we have one. Uh, this is Richard waiting to get off, uh, get off the Virgin Cruise of Scarlet Lady, Virgin Voyage of Scarlet Lady, to just get right back on again. See you back in a minute. All right, so we just got to swabby swabby nosy nosy uh you can see the photo right here and we are waiting for the zero zero count now there are 20 people staying back to back there are 1320 people on the next sailing compared to 1040 on this current sailing that's about to end so it is rising in preparation for richard's birthday bash as it gets closer and into the realness of summer and i do think it's kind of interesting given virgin voyage's current uh, marketing campaigns that you've got branson up here right next to JLo, so I will share that with you. We got similar to what was in the elevator next to JLo. And other than this ad, we really haven't seen anything JLo related during this sailing. So right now we are waiting for everybody who's not staying on back to back. So everybody but the 20 people that are staying back to back to actually get off board the sailing and to for us to get off and hopefully come right back on once we show our passports and vaccination cards once we did get swabbed we did get a purple wristband which is different than the red wristband or the don't remember the other color red or green wristband when we were coming on whether you had tested before you got on board or whether you had tested in the terminal so next step is going off the boat and then checking in i'll show you how much i can have customs and then coming back <laughs> all right so now it is time we are heading off to go right back on board uh, so that should be interesting everybody got their negative swabby swabby so we go off and we go back on uh 10 45 a.m there were still six stragglers and the last two finally got off board so we're gonna use this little band right here hopefully tap off reprogram us in the terminal and tap back on so let's see if we're ready to go now we will have to turn this off when we get to actual immigration but i don't think it'll be half turned off before then we're waiting right here. This is the main gateway where you get on and off the ship. We're gonna get out of the way because they are moving bread. That's the bread master general. And that is the gangway. All right, so we are headed off board again. I'll be able to show you up until when we get to customs because customs does not like cameras in their face. But <laughs> we are leaving the uh, 3rd of July voyage and uh, hopefully very quickly going to be tapping back in. That is number 20 off the ship. Number 19. <laughs> and here we go. Back through the red archway right here. Again, last people off board and first people back on board that are on the passenger manifest. Something they have to do for maritime reasons is get to something called a double zero count. Double zero count is only required in the United States and believe it or not, only at certain ports due to customs and border protection. They request everybody that is on the passenger manifest get off the boat. Even there's a lot of shoreside personnel and other people and even some of the guest artists that were on board are actually getting off and then coming right back on. But we're walking right into the Virgin Terminal here. Again, I might have to go off at any time due to customs and border protection reasons. But. Until I get to the no photo area, we will continue the little walk. Ooh, ooh. That's some nice air conditioning. For a big boy like me, big boy likes nice terminal air conditioning. I know it's weird to say that, but I do love me some nice terminal air conditioning. I will tell you our first sailing was actually very good. You will see coming out in about a week or so, you'll see our full nine month later review. Since the last time we were on Scarlet Lady, we only did four days, we're doing 10 days this time. Uh, it's been enough time for Scarlet Lady to have a baby in the last nine months. Some things never change and some things stay the same and we're gonna be going over all of that. So the nice thing is, I will show you in front of us, there are no crowds. Zero crowds. We have a crew member that is actually escorting us to customs and luggage claim. And I will shut this off whenever they say I have to. So, show you where we are. That says customs. 
again, as soon as I say I have to shut it off, see there is the Virgin Voyage of Scarlet Lady right there. This whole process should be rather quick, but nobody really knows. Virgin Voyages is partnering with U.S. Customs to expedite your arrival. Your photograph will be shared with the photograph image associated with your passport. You can pause that, read that. Let me take a picture of that really quick so you can see what's going on. Oop. Quick photo. Oop. All right. Catching up to the group. You can see we are a small but mighty group. And we are coming down to where you would normally get your luggage claimed. And you can see, not many people here. See you soon, sailor, spelled S-E-A. See you soon, sailor. And we're going down again. Once we enter the area for Customs and Border Protection, we will have to turn off the video, but I will show you as much as I can until then. So we are going down to where you pick up your luggage. They do also allow you to just walk off with your luggage, which is what we'll be doing in five days from now but for right now we have left all of our luggage on board all we have with us are our passports and our covid vaccination cards our test for all 20 people did come back negative did come back very quickly i questioned the validity of those tests but i don't really care because it lets us stay on for another cruise but we got this little wristband which should allow us to just walk on walk back up and i'm going to show you in real time as much as i can so we are about four minutes off of the ship right now, just to give you an idea. I'm going down the escalator and in the big old luggage hall. It is right now, right about 11 a.m. And we started this journey about 40 minutes ago, 30, 40 minutes ago. And I think this is where we are going to have to uh, depart from each other for a minute because we are at customs processing and customs processing trust me customs processing does not like cameras so as soon as we see if we're at customs processing i'll cut it off and i'll pick it back up once we're back in the u.s and then once we leave again but you'll see yep customs does not like cameras so that's where we are i will see you back in a few minutes time it's 11 a.m I know sometimes the passage of time is funny, but I'm back with you 15 seconds later. So yes, as I said, I know sometimes the passage of time is funny, but I'm back with you 15 seconds later. They looked at my passport. The nice immigration officer said, have a nice day. And we are headed back to do the check-in process to check back in for our second cruise. Now I will say I have not checked in for the second cruise on the app because it wasn't really letting me, but uh, we'll see how smooth this process goes. And believe it or not, with that, we are headed back up towards the boat, towards the ship. I don't know if we're headed to the check-in or where we're headed, but the good news is I can leave you on for most of this time. And why I can leave you on for most of this time is because immigration, customs, border patrol, all that stuff is done, finito, finished. So everything else should be pretty available and pretty accessible to show you. We did already get our COVID test, as you saw earlier. Um, our documentation is checked again as i said i have not gone ahead and checked in for this sailing yet because it was back to back it was giving me trouble and this sailing's not on my credit card it's on the person i'm traveling with credit card so it makes things a little bit harder for me to go ahead and check in so it may actually be a slightly longer process than my first sailing where i had checked in fully online beforehand but we'll see so we're getting to the top of this escalator Just to give you a time check real quick, it is 11.05. If you remember, we had to get 20 people through the immigration spot check. It is 11.05 on July 8th. We are just following right down. Immigration was super quick. And this segment right now, I may speed up through some editing magic, or we may watch it. But there's about 20 people Staying back to back. I think we're going back to the terminal to check in again. Let's see, it looks like all the terminal employees are arriving for the day to start checking people in. Virgin Voyages is very, very different. You do actually have a very late checkout time for cruise ship purposes and a very late check-in time for cruise ship purposes. So 
I'm not sure if we're going to have to go back through security. I mean, we got off the boat. I don't think we've got to go back through security. Oh, look. There are people right here waiting to check us back in, which is great. So when we get checked in, I will be right back with you. All right. So this was our check-in area. We got to sit down, have a nice check-in experience. These people all got to check in one person, and now they get to go have a nap really quickly, right? Check in one person, then a nap. Woo! Now it's nap time! Because that's what it is for all of us. And here's the little back-to-back -back area right here. And we've got coffee, just so you can see the coffee. And it's almost time to go back on board. Well, actually it is. You see this whole process, this whole process from start to finish took less than an hour. So less than an hour, got the coffee, got everything like that. Got a nice little waiting area right here with plugs. Not USB-C, but plugs. Nice little couch, nice little waiting area. And guess what? Just like that, it is time to go back on board. It's almost like we never left. It's almost like we never left because we really didn't. But <laughs> let's tap back in. Tappy, 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 tappy. Seize the day. And less than an hour after starting the whole process on the balcony. So less than an hour ago, after starting the whole process on the balcony, we are back back on board. Technically we've scanned in, even though we're not on board, on board yet. We are back on board. So let's go ahead and I'll let you know once we get actually back on board. Now I don't expect the fanfare, the celebration and the setup like they have for embarkation because guess what? Now is one of the few times where some of the crew are able to rest between voyages. Now some of the crew work very hard, especially during the age of the big sea. We're not gonna talk about the big C by name, but the thing I got no swab for before. Some of the crew have to disinfect every area, so you'll see foggers and different things of the sort. And we are back on board. That was a uh, fun and interesting process. And done. Ooh, new TV. And you'll see totally empty boat. Totally empty boat and I will show you because this is important to the back-to-back -back experience. Now we do have a little bit of a time before everything will open back up for our usage. You will see that everything is closed and when I say everything I mean everything like the ice cream place. For United States public health reasons when they are in a U.S. port they do a deep deep cleaning the night before and they like to keep it clean for the, before the next sailing starts. Even the pizza place is closed but just to show you I'll pop up this letter on the screen again. Our lunch options are the pizza place from noon. Important thing about the pizza place from noon. Nobody gets on board the version Voyage of Scarlet Lady till about 1.30 p.m. So a noon pizza place opening is just for the 20 of us plus maybe some visitors and some crew as well. And we've got the galley, which is the not buffet buffet, open at one o'clock. So this is Richard from No Pants Profits just showing you a very quick overview of the entire back-to-back -back process with everything except for customs integration, which I could not show on the Scarlet Lady out of the port of Miami. Uh, and hey, I will tell you we're on here for a casino cruise. If you play in the casino, they will reward you if you lose, and sometimes they'll reward you if you win. This is Richard from No Pants Profits coming to you from round two of the Scarlet Lady, full review coming soon, reminding you that when you wear no pants, all you got left to lose is your shirt. Have a great one, bye.